Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Bonebreaker Build-A-Figure Wave Wolverine. This is the Wolverine with the black shoulder pads and the heat claws. Um, we're just gonna do the question of the day right now. How did you guys feel about the whole storyline with Wolverine having heat claws? Uh, for me, the heat claw thing felt like it was just a little bit a little bit jump in the shark. Just a little bit too much for me. But maybe maybe you like that storyline. I don't know, it makes for a cool looking figure, so that's fine. But just wanna wanna feel the crowd there, see how how you guys feel about that. But it's another Wolverine with all reused parts, so this isn't gonna be a full on review, but I wanted to show you anyway in case you were looking to pick it up. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. All right, we'll run the basics real quick. Uh, this guy stands just shy of 15 centimeters. That's gonna make him just shy of six inches. I do believe we have seen that head before. It's not the newest head. And if it is a new one, it's very similar to an old one. But the body is the standard Wolverine body with the shoulder pads, so he does have the better arms. People like to tell him, not tell me, but say generally that the shoulders are, are too small. Yes, but in order to have the shoulder pads not be too big, they have to be, and with the shoulder pads on, it looks fine. So that's just one of those sacrifices. I don't know what is going on with the shoulder. The thing keeps popping out. Um, that's just one of those sacrifices you have to make in action figures. So I think it's fine. Um, and, but this one does come with the good claws, so that's a good thing. They're the definitely exaggerated claws as far as the sculpt goes. They're the ones that get bigger as they come out and then come to a point. But I personally think these are the best, and this one, they're nice. They're nice and straight, they're well spaced, they, I mean it's the same hands as before, but these work so much nicer than mo like all of the other claws that they've released other than the Hugh Jackman claws. So that's, that's good. And these claws have the translucent plastic shaded um, from red to like yellowish white so that it looks like they're glowing hot. That's kind of cool. The paint job on here, uh, it's not great. The paint job on the legs is pretty wiggly. It's hard to do straight lines across muscle groups like that, but that's not really our problem, so that has to be considered. Now the line work up here is really nice. The shoulder area and chest area are really, really nice. Down here, it's, it's, it's still off, just like it was on the animated one. Um, it's not as bad as the animated one, but the tiger stripe side pieces are a little bit uneven, but they're still relatively okay. That's fine. And they did do them on the back, so the back looks pretty good. The back looks better down here. Yeah, it's not bad. The head's still a little iffy. It's kind of a doughy sculpt for this guy. He doesn't have really much of a look to him. He looks very bland and bored and not a whole lot of detail in the sculpt either. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. It's a fine Wolverine. If you like the, the black shoulder pads and the glowy claws or want to swap out the claws and the shoulder pads, it's fine. The paint job's all right. Skin tone's nice. No shading. The hair is sculpted kind of weirdly on there as is normal. Um, you know, it's it's another standard Wolverine. The belt is really nicely done. That kind of a dull gold with the red looks good. It's fine, aesthetics are okay. This one comes with an alternate head. Like I said, I'm not going through a full on review. Uh, this one does come with an alternate head. It's probably the nicest yelling head that, well, it's not prob. It's not probably, it is the nicest yelling head that they've done for Wolverine to date. It's well enough painted. Uh, actually, the paint is pretty darn good. The sculpt is technically pretty good, but for me, it's like, it still it doesn't look like he's actually yelling. It looks like he's old and has like a wrinkly face and is just kind of like making a yelling face. You know like how you can tell when somebody's faking a smile? This looks like somebody faking yelling. I just, I wanna see some anger in a Wolverine sculpt where he's yelling. Like for instance, here's my sculpt. I don't have a painted one because I just shipped them all out. I shipped out the last ones the other day. Uh, it's just so much more emotive. Now, that's my personal preference. If you guys don't care for that, that's fine. But like, this is technically a good sculpt. It's just, I don't I don't want Wolverine to look like an old man yelling at a kid for being on his lawn. I want him to look like he's growling and yelling in anger because he's an angry sort of fella. But it's okay. The hairline's a little weird on the sculpt, but it's the two-piece type of hair on top of a head. But otherwise, it's, it's fine. It's definitely the best one they've done so far, and I'm guessing most people are gonna be perfectly happy with it. Uh, I'm sure it would look better if, um, 
you know, if the artist could release what they made rather than it going through a production line, that's always the case. So that's that. Um, that's it for accessories. And so that's all I wanted to do really is to show you the release so you could decide if you want to pick it up. It is the same as like all the other Wolverines now, minus maybe the shoulder pads, depending on which one you look at. But I'll give you a, um, a review up there that has the full in-depth look at a shoulder padded Wolverine so you can get an idea there. But yeah, if you like this look, get it. It's a fine release. This is one of their better molds. Overall, it's a perfectly good Wolverine mold. I still think it goes toe to toe with uh, Mafex. I, I think it's one of Hasbro's best projects to date, uh, this particular Wolverine mold. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. It poses well, good overall look to it. Very pleased with it. And this is a strong enough release. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Quick review. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. New videos every day, but Wednesday, thousands already on the channel. Make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.